Hey guys, I'm um, sorry about the weird, sh possibly shitty lighting. Um, it's actually really crappy out. It's like really, really rainy and it has been for the past three days. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do a haul of just some stuff that I feel like I'm like weirdly like not centered. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna do a haul of things that I've gotten. A lot of it is from yesterday. I went shopping with my mom. There's a little gnat flying. Um, and the rest is just some stuff that is a bunch of beauty products that I've just had hiding in here. Um, stuff, a lot of it, I'm gonna disclaim this same way I do all my other hauls. I'm not sure if I've hauled this before. Um, it has, I can't remember the last haul I filmed and I got distracted when I went to watch it. If you don't know these two beautiful men. Um, Bucky. And Matt, or Matt and Bucky, I'm not sure which is which. Um, they're man hauls. And note the Alabama in the background. And the Alabama on both of their shirts. Because, you know. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever mentioned before. But I've been an Alabama fan for the past year and a half, maybe, I guess. It's not like I've been an Alabama fan my whole life. I'm from fucking Pennsylvania. But, um, I have been an a University of Alabama Crimson Tide fan for about a year and a half now. Why did I start liking them? I think it was The Blind Side that got, because the movie The Blind Side definitely got me into Southern football. And I just liked, I don't know why, but I just liked Alabama. I think it's because they were the best. Um, I honestly think I just hopped on that bandwagon because they're the best. I'm not afraid to admit that I'm a bandwagoner. Fuck it. Fuck it for Chris, okay? If you know what that reference is, comment down below and you'll be my new best friend. So anyway, um, if you don't know who Manhalls is, they're Bucky and Matt, who are Tracy and Steph's husbands. Tracy and Steph, as you probably know because they're super famous, um, is our 11th Gorgeous on YouTube. Um, I will link their channel along with Manhalls in the down bar. They're my favorite channel right now because they're amazing. And like now my like goal in life is to like go to Alabama and find husbands or find a husband like this. Anyway, so I'm going to start with the shit I got at Target yesterday. Um, my mom took me to Target yesterday because we've been talking about needing to go to Target because I've needed some stuff. Um, actually, I'll start with the two things that I got at Giant because we went grocery shopping. Anyway, um, I got the Suave Dry Shampoo. Um, it's just the spray. It's Because, you know, look, I have the Tresemme ones actually sitting. Yeah, it's, I think it's on the floor. Um, and... That didn't work, and a lot of people say this works. Um, I don't know. I'm just really into trying dry shampoos because these are good to take out of town when I go out of town on the weekends. Because um, a lot of times, like, we'll go down and, like, we'll spend a weekend with my sister or something and we'll stay in a hotel. And, and by a lot of times, I mean we've done this, like, twice. So, <laughs> I don't really like hotel showers. I hate showering in them. Um, and then even then, a lot of times you don't have a lot of time. Sorry, like, my nails aren't all the way painted, but it's whatever. Just ignore it. Um, you don't have a lot of time to, like, shower and wash your hair and do everything you need to do, so you use a dry shampoo. So it also has a dry conditioner, which I might want to try. If I like this, I'll try that. Um, and then I got the Organics Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage System. I wanted to try this because it's kind of like the Moroccan oil, but it's, like, coconut milk instead of Moroccan oil. Um, I used it on my ends yesterday. It made them really soft, but they were, my hair was, like, dry, so you're only supposed to do it when, you're supposed to do it when it's wet. It smells delicious. It smells like straight up a coconut farm. Uh, okay, so now on to Target. I'll start with the clothes. I got a dress and one shirt. The dress I got it was twenty seven ninety nine. If you can see, it's from Pure Energy, I think. Yeah, which is like my favorite plus size line at Target. Um, it has like these like ruffles on top. If you can see, it's like black, and then it kind of. It cinches right under the boobs, and, like, I would put a belt there. I have, like, a white belt that I would put there. And then it has this, like, kind of... I want to call it tribally, but it's not really. But it's more tribally than stuff that I own. And it just goes down to, like, right above my knees, or, like, to my knees, I think. Um, this will definitely be in a summer... Oh! I made a list of all the videos that I want to do between now and June... Um, May is getting off to a kind of rough start because this weather has been throwing me off, but that's okay. Um, 
but a couple of them are like fashion videos and one of them is definitely a sundress fashion video with me, Alyssa, and probably Amanda and whoever else wants to help. This will definitely be in that video because it's so cute and like, like my mom looked at it and she like gave me this like you're never going to wear that look but I know like I'm going to wear this so much because it's, well, not so much but I'm going to wear it a lot because it is really cute. And then the other top I got, um, you know I'm going to beauty school next year, so, and I don't know how it is at every beauty school, but my beauty school specifically, um, the uniform, uh, you have to wear all black, so I've been trying to find, like, cute black clothes, like, I emailed my mom, like, a million cute black clothes, um, and the thing is, now, like, I know my size at Target, so I can buy them online, like, this is a two, the dress is a three, because I normally go a size up in the dresses, um, just because I like them more like flowy and I can always wear like a push-up bra or like a padded bra to like fill it out because like you know I wear like mad crazy padded bras because I really have tiny boobs so anyway I got this and it's just this black top this I can also wear to work if I ever get up front shifts which I rarely do but I mean if I ever do I can wear this it's fine it's cute that is I don't own a lot of black has anyone noticed that I, in my head, I own so much black, but I really don't. I own a lot of black t-shirts, but I don't have a lot of, like, nice black stuff. Um, it just has this wide neck that could potentially go off a shoulder. It did when I put it on. It was really cute. Um, it has, it's like, it has this, like, elastic kind of, like, banded at the bottom, so it kind of, like, flows nicely. And the cool part, that's my favorite part, I'm gonna, like, fucking... Look, it's lacy. It is all lace on the sleeves and has like the flower lace. It's really, really cute. Super cute and I like it and it's really comfortable. And this was $21.99. And I figure I can buy more than one of these, duh, and wear them in beauty school. Because you know me, like, you know those tank tops I have and all my plaid shirts. If I like something, I will fucking run with it and buy a million of them. But yeah, so... Look out for more, like, black clothes haul. Black clothes hauls. Bra is popping out. Like, black clothing hauls all summer because I do need more. <laughs> do need to buy more black clothes because I really have, like, three black shirts. And that's not going to get me through a whole year. Okay, so that's all I got, like, clothes-wise. Um, just some other random stuff. I got this loofah. Um, it's white and purple and it's really cute. Um, it's two, it was two oh nine two dollars and nine cents, um, just because I needed one and I didn't have one, so I can use a loofah when I shower, because I've been using my hands and I'm like that is not helping. Um, <laughs> to go with it, I got this clean and clear morning burst body wash in charge. Char make your body go charge. Ah! I was actually watching, um. I was watching Pregnancy Pact a few days ago, right? Which seems like it has nothing to do with anything. Watch Blair, Juicy Star 07. Then you know exactly what I'm talking about. The chick from Pregnancy Pact was in Blair's Burst a Move dance video. Duh. Um, but this is the pomegranate and orange zest smelling one. It smells yummy. Yeah. Um, I don't get, like, body acne that much, but I do have, like, I have, if you can see, my little dry skin bumps, my keratosis pilaris, all over my body, all over, like, my arms and legs and stuff, so, um, yeah. So I'm hoping this will, like, help out with that. I don't know what else is gonna help. I gotta Google that. Um, I got this. I'm not sure if it's the same thing I normally get. It's, like, it's not exactly. Unless they just change the packaging and then change the name. I don't know. It's the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. This one says Leave-In Spray, whereas this one just says Heat Tamer Spray. I don't know exactly, like, what the difference is, but they smell the same. Like, they say the exact same thing on the back, so I think they just changed the name. I don't know. I'm all, This is, like, almost out, so I got that one. Um, I got this book called Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I want to read this this summer. Um, it's basically, okay, Samantha Kin Kingston, yeah, I went to Kensington. Uh, Samantha Kingston, Kingston, Samantha Kingston has it all. Looks, popularity, the perfect boyfriend. Friday, February 12th, ho ho, 
almost Friday the 13th. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? <laughs> Should be just another day in her charmed life. Instead, it turns out to be her last. Living the last day of her life seven times during one miraculous week, she will untangle the mystery surrounding her death and discover the true value of everything she's in danger of losing. I don't know, it looked really good and the girl, ow, on the cover has really pretty eyes. So I was like, hey, that sounds fun. That and um, Jay Asher wrote like a blurb for it. It says, you'll, ha you'll have no choice but to tear through this book. Jay Asher, the author of New York Times bestseller, 13 Reasons Why, which I loved. I never filmed my book review for it. I should probably get on that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I got a round hairbrush because I don't have, well I have one here. This is mine and it's really really old and there's so much hair in it and like this is really probably gross me out. And you see it's fucking dented, I just threw it away, has the biggest dent in it and I'm like you know what I'm gonna get one that isn't gonna dent and it's just a round brush and has like bristles and the grippy thing and it's bright colored and you know me and everything fucking bright colored. So I love it. Uh, speaking of bright colors, I got these sunglasses from Exhilaration. These were 12, oh, this was $5.95, I think, or $5.99, $4.99, something like that. These are just bright. They're like, I don't know, I'd call them pink, but I think there was a brighter pink, so they're like more of like a corally pink. They kind of they kind of remind me of Flip Flop Fantasy a little bit. Actually, no, they don't. They remind me of Shocking Pink a little bit. Um, From Channel Glaze. <laughs> they have like the color, like the inside is, I don't know if you can like, I don't know, the inside's like yellow and pink and... Oh my god! These are Star Kid glasses! That didn't even occur to me, these are fucking pink! These are Star Kid glasses! Oh my god! That didn't occur to me! I now have Star Kid glasses! And they're bright fucking pink! Holla! Nice! Okay. Now that I'm done geeking out over the fact that me and Darren Chris have the same sunglasses, <laughs> I got two Sonia Kashuk Remove eye makeup removers because as you know this is my favorite, favorite, favorite eye makeup remover and as soon as I find my tripod I will film a skincare routine which will include these but um, this is the I've been using it for almost a year. I've been using it since last summer so almost a year now. Um, <sighs> I don't know, it's just the only thing I've ever found that like gets my makeup off and also like does not irritate my eyes or my skin or anything. Um, I bought two. I always buy two at a time. I go through about one a month. Um, they're $10.19 now. They used to be $9.99 but now they're $10.19. Um, oh, I have two more. And it's just the kind, normally it's like clear up here and then like purple down here and you shake them but they've been kind of shaking around this bag for days and the last thing I got at Target was they were two for five the Aussie three minute miracle which is my favorite favorite like what's it called this thing deep conditioner um I wonder if I could find my YouTube book and show you that I wore a secret bag full of beauty goodies that I'm not sure if I've ever hauled some of this I probably have but I mean whatever you see it again twice the fun Okay, so okay, so I'm back. I had to go get some stuff. Let me make sure I'm in focus. I'm probably forgetting a little bit more, but that's it's okay. Okay, so the things I got, I got this Neutrogena shampoo. It's like an anti-residue shampoo. It's just like a clear bottle. I don't know, like if you can like see it against my skin. Um, yeah, I don't like this look at all. I feel like it didn't do anything. You're supposed to use it once a week to clear up buildup in your hair. I feel like I should have a lot of buildup, but it didn't change anything in my hair. Like, it didn't, like, make it feel any different. I guess I'll try it again before I do, like, an actual review. Um, and then I got my normal shampoo and conditioner. I'm almost out of it now. I think my mom bought me some, too. I don't know. I got the Aussie Moist, which is, like, it's my, I, this is, like, keep going back to this. Like, no matter what shampoo and conditioner I try, I will always, 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 without a doubt, never fail, go back to this. Because this makes my hair feel like a baby's ass. Your bag full of goodies. Um, I got this comb in CVS because I needed a wide tooth comb to brush out my hair. Or comb out my hair when I when it's wet because you're not supposed to use brushes. Um, I never really followed that rule. But it's whatever. I might as well start trying. Okay, from my, one of my best friends, his name is James. He sent this to me on my birthday. 
I'm actually going to... You're actually going to zoom in on this and want to show you. If you can see, lime crime. I'm not sure if that focused, but it is in Circus Girl. It is in a bright yellow. Um, I got three Revlon lip butters over the past couple weeks. I got Sweet Tart, which is my all-time favorite, and I did, and I lost my Sweet Tart, and then I found it right after I bought this, and I was like, oh man, but then it didn't matter because I had two, and then I lost the other one again anyway. So Sweet Tart, which is like a bright pink, you know, bright pink. Um, strawberry shortcake, which is like a lighter, more frosty pink. I like sit, not horrid posture because I'm like sitting like this right now and it's like bop. No. Okay, I like this one. I'm, these two are like tied in my mind right now. They're two, they're so different. This one is tutti frutti. This one is bright orange. Like this is orange, but on your lips it looks coral. See? There's a little bit of a coral. That and orange lips, like tangerine orange lips, are a huge trend for the fall. Or for the spring and summer, because fall is, you know, starting tomorrow. Okay. I got the Revlon 3D Photo Ready Volume. Or Photo Ready 3D Volume. This was supposed to be comparable to the Benefit They're Real. Like, you see, like, the brush is kind of like it. it. has, like, the ending, the stab your eye out. This really did not do much for me. This was kind of just more like my natural eyelashes look. Like kind of just like, it kind of like defined them a little bit more but it wasn't a lot of volume. And you know I like my big eyelashes. Okay, the rest is nail polish. Now on to the stuff that I could have potentially hauled before. Okay, I have three Essies. Um, they're all like big colors for spring. They're like three big colors for spring. I have Playdate which is like a light purpley purple, I guess. It's actually on this finger right now. Um, yeah, it's just a bright purple. Um, Tarte Deco, which I think I might have hauled before, but it's just like an orangey coral. It's on the rest of my nails. Um, well, not the rest, obviously, because a bunch of them are missing. Um, and then Navigate Her, which is the pistachio green, which is like the it color for spring, apparently. But like my colors for spring are coral, yellow, and turquoise. So. Which explains, you know, the next four nail polishes I'm about to show you. First one is China Glaze Happy Go Lucky. It's yellow. It's bright yellow. It's like banana e yellow. This one I'm not a huge fan of. It's OPI Lemonade Stand By Your Man. Just because it's so sheer. It takes like nine and a half coats and it's not even that dark. Um, and then OPI Needs Sunglasses, which is like a brighter yellow than... Then, um, Happy Go Lucky. They look almost exactly the same. But this one is darker. It's more golden roddy. But it also is not a very good color on my skin tone. And then this is, might be my favorite. It's a Revlon Color Stay. Like, and you know my hate of Revlon nail polish. It's in 100 Buttercup. I think I saw this from either 11th Gorgeous or Miss Glamorazzi. And it's just such a, or no, I think it was Amarique's, but it's such a pretty, like, bright yellow. Oh, God, it's not even bright. It's just, like, a nice butter. It's, like, this is, like, what, I can't believe it's not butter looks like. It's, like, a nice buttery yellow. Okay, I have two Nicole Bay OPIs, both from the Kardashian collection because they're the only Nicole's that I have. But I do, okay, I saw a Nicole Bay OPI yesterday, and I really want it, and I'm gonna go get it as soon as I have money. Um... <laughs> I got Disco Dolls, which is like a gold bronzy with like big iridescent glitters. And then Kendall on the catwalk. So I have all of Kendall's, I think. Do I? No, I don't. I have I have both of Kylie's. That's what it is. Yeah, I have both of Kylie's. And this is Chloe's, I think. Disco Dolls. I think it's Chloe's. Either Chloe or Courtney. Um... Yeah, this is like a blue with green and purple glitters. It's very nice. Um, and then the next four, remarkably only one OPI because I have been trying to branch out and not just have OPI, SE, and China Blaze. Um, so the only OPI I'm not a humongous fan of just because it is still also very sheer. Um, it is sit under the apple tree. It's like a light shimmery green. It would be super nice if it was like 
pigmented and it was like more like opaque. This not too sure about, it is the Milani One Coat Glitter in Blue Flash. Um, it's just a blue glitter. It's like a bunch of different sizes of blue glitter. Um, it's just, I don't know. Um, it was, I only got it because it's supposed to be an exact dupe for OPI, like I think Matt is a Hatter or something. I think that's what it's called. Um, from the Alice in Wonderland collection, which I missed, which I'm really sad about. And Matt is a Hatter, you can get it online for $46. So, I googled it and it said that this was like a dupe. So, I think this is this is pretty, but like I when I look at it on my nails, I feel like it doesn't look as good as like it does in the bottle. And the one that I absolutely hate is Spoiled Pet My Peacock, which is just like a silver, turquoise, purple and blue glitter and some yellow. This is the oh my god, least opaque glitter I've ever seen. Like literally Like, look at that. Can you see, like, how there's, like, four glitters on there and it's, like, the wettest brush you've ever seen? Like, it is all clear. It's just all, like, there's way too much clear. There's not, way not enough glitter in this. And, like, there should totally be more n glitter in here. Like, it just bothers me so much that there's not enough glitter in here. And the one that I'm, like, obsessed with is... Lori is a L'Oreal nail polish and you know me and my like not no drug like I hate drugstore nail polish but it's 105 Club Privé. I actually found out about this from Carly Christman. Um, she like Instagrammed a picture of her nails and it looked really cute and I was like oh my god what is that color and this is kind of like a Tiffany blue. Um, it kind of reminds me of when it's on my nails it looks almost exactly like turquoise and Caicos but I don't know it's a little bit different and it's just a pretty like Tiffany blue color yeah okay so that was my haul that was all I got that I know of did I get anything else do I see anything that I got no um that's it um me on yeah um look out for more videos um Oh, let me see if I can find my YouTube notebook and I can show you so much for watching um, and stay subscribed and get your friends to subscribe and get your parents to subscribe and give away at 100 subscribers. I'm getting there. So let's get on that. I started buying things for it. No, I didn't. So that's a bold faced lie. But anyway, so I don't know. Stay glamorous, ladies. No, that's like nerdy. Hello, hey guys. Hey guys, um, no. I'm trying to think of a cool sign off. I like stay glamorous. My wall actually says glamorous, I'll show you. This is glamorous. I made it out of magazines. I really, really like it. Hey guys, I'm like awkwardly like in the way now. What's up? Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love you. Uh, stay glamorous and be awesome. Bye.